Yeah. Uh, well, we're, no. uh, <laughs> forget her. She's gone. At least from this session. Uh, so <laughs> enjoy Don't your take vacation. take my little sister away yeah. from me again. <laughs> Mwahaha. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to start uh, session 118, entitled Plunge, for some reason. Okay. Clearly there's no connection at all with the, the titles and any of the content that follow afterwards. Not if we have anything to say about it. Exactly. That's yeah. a, the eternal struggle here. So never have anything to say about it. Uh, <laughs> uh, so for not being on video today, by the way. Maybe in the second half I will. Okay. Yeah, uh, do it. If, if you're in your, your you know, wake-up mode or whatever, do, do what you got to do. I'm happy to play. Um, and I, I appreciate all the extras y'all bring. Um... I just have my wig today, so. <laughs> oh, oh, that's it. Tuesday yeah, thank... session canceled. This this is not acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, the Black 3.0 is the darkest paint that you can buy. Vanta Black, because it's made from carbon nanotubes, is insoluble in water and uh, quite toxic. Okay, so yes, I will be sticking to Black 3.0 then. <laughs> Uh, and I'm I'm eager to find out uh, eager Just to find out how, how it'll turn out. Yeah, absorbent it is. Uh, so we had a little bit of exploration uh, the last time that we played, and it was done a little bit differently since y'all, y'all yins and yuns, uh, were actually exploring using a deck of uh, playing cards here, because such were the whims of fate uh, that uh, you were toyed with. Uh, through some random number generation on a set of cards. And eventually... Okay, the DM wanted to do something funky. Yeah. Yeah, I like mixing <laughs> it up a little bit. Uh, and you eventually found your way to whatever this thing slash place is. Uh, you uh, detected magic. There was immense magic coming from inside the, uh, the very deep, dark uh, place inside this skull tunnel, uh, you know, Up -up level naturally. Uh, dispelling it did not seem to work, uh, as it is, it was like super, super duper magic. And at one point, y'all held your noses and sort of took the plunge in. Uh, as that happened, the skull here slid down and uh, shut you inside. And the gray walls began to show a series of images. And with that, there was a song that really rang out all around you that was being, uh, that, that was resonating with this giant made uh, violin that Mordecai ended up acquiring in Old Port before it was uh, overrun by uh, Zambles and Skelemens and all sorts of stuff. Go, 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 ghosts. Uh, fully immersed in. Well, it's something that I'll uh, for you for all of you watching, you know, and including the players. I will play it one more time, um, especially because I spent over nine thousand hours in MS Paint to uh, put it together. So I want to get a little bit more mileage out of it. But if there's anything else to see or as a refresher, um, I hope that you all do enjoy it. Uh, I will play it for you here, uh, and then we will come back because that is pretty much where we left off. There was the presentation of this grand illusion and the end of the tunnel opened up and before them was the scene that we'll we'll switch to uh now for my players remember that this doesn't this won't play through uh this won't play through what i have set up so you'd have to watch the stream if you wanted to watch it again i know we had a, a powwow about it you know we we talked we talked through things um, on the last caffeine fix before yesterday right. uh and uh so yeah for those of you watching uh, sit back and enjoy an interesting little lore bomb, question mark, and uh, we'll continue to move forward.
All right. So that had played out before, uh, before the group here, and uh, the other side of this hallway uh, had opened. And uh, before we go through, uh, I do want to ask because while we did have a review, this in particular didn't come up as this wasn't necessarily a part of the imagery that was shown in the illusion. Uh, but do you find uh, do you find anything in particular? Uh, I don't know. Given what you saw, now that you're here, especially with the the gate, uh, is there anything that stands out to you all? Mordecai is just kind of standing there in awe of what he just saw. He's not, not sure what to make of it 100% just yet. Right. But we had to go through the through the passage to get there, right? So we're yes. in a projection room. We can't really see this stuff at this point, right? Uh, well, there's a, this is going to be on the other side as well. But uh, oh. a prompt simply because this has played out and as you are taking in things thus far... Uh, if there's anything that now has springing that is springing from the illusion uh, to what you have just wandered uh, wandered through, yeah, it's it's hard to say. I mean, we all we all know the skull is the Ouija symbol, right? So, yes. So uh, that's not a big surprise. That's actually why I thought maybe the we just might be the actual chronicler here. Um, but I don't know if there are any other like, particular indications of holiness. Okay, no problem. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'm qualified. I mean, you could kind of interpret the gold symbol at the top as some type of crown, and I know that crowns have been a big metaphor in this, in the in the playback. But I'm not sure it's meant to be interpreted that way. It could just be like a symbol symbol. No. Yeah, it is a little symbol there. That's true. And... Oh, look, it's highlighted. It's like when you move your mouse over something and it lights up and tells you it's important. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is a different D&D &D adventure port right here. It's clearly anything important is going to twinkle, and uh, yeah, you got to click on it. <laughs> Well, Brighton, after we get out of there, Brighton and Mordecai are going to see that, uh, Selene is furiously making notes. Uh, in fact, there's not too much you're going to have to make a note of, as all of those runes and even the words appear in your, uh, red leather book that you were gifted. Oh, oh, no, no, no. The notes are notes on the on the things. About the thing. Ah, I see. About the symbology and everything like that. But now she's also got a reference in the book. Uh, Celine, why don't you make a uh, why don't you make a, an investigation for me, please? I will. Uh, I will make an investigation. Can I? How good am I at investigation? Probably awful. Um. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna turn myself with a guidance real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Celine, no, thinks so good, but she feel feelings. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, a five. No, no, that's a five. Okay. Well, you you boosted it up to five. Yeah. That's an easy DC. You might, you might have made it. Um. Uh. Yeah. There's uh. Uh. Something that does stand out, I guess, would be uh. You do have a. Uh, like maybe that's something. Uh, except more rectangular than what I drew.
So is this implying that Weejas was created? Created by? Created when? Created how? Created what? Well, just created. No, I need prepositions. <laughs> no. <laughs> Denied. <laughs> That's kind of what it looked like to me. My thought is... She wasn't born or created like that. She was made into that. Kind of what oh, I meant by created. I see, I see, I see. Oh, it all makes sense now. Oh, I guess I should tell you. The, the symbols here... <laughs> Are the symbols that represent we just in the in the story? We've got the little rectangle, and then we've got the little omega, and then we've got the little hat or crown, as it's also sometimes known. It's a. I don't know if there's a word for it. Crown. That's. Hat. The ruler of all undead. So, hey, here's a thought. If this um, is the uh, like the literal manifestation of the representation that she had in the in the story, then maybe this is the place where the literal manifestation of all those dead souls come. Like they could be stored in these walls or something, or in the pillars outside. Or in these little little nooks, you know they're so cute. There was a ton of names that you walked by in in the halls. Yeah, or or maybe they're like whenever they were there that many though. Were there like millions and millions? I thought it was like more like not millions, no. Record of a battle, yeah. So it's not like they can't all be stored in in their names in the hallway. Although that would be pretty cool. Maybe my next game I'll do that. But in this one, <laughs> it doesn't seem like there's enough names, so maybe they can't. Maybe they can't do that. Oh, but, maybe. I mean, a lot of places have stories of like the Book of the Dead, right? Like in in the, um, uh, um, like we have legends of imaginary cultures called like the Egyptians or or like the Jews. <laughs> I don't know if you know those conflicts those, you know, between maybe them. Gnomish legends, where all the names of all the people are written in the book, right? I've, I've. So it could be written on the walls. Not of that particular mythos, but, 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 but you know, for some very obvious reason, and she holds up her, uh, her, she, she holds up the the little symbol that we just that she's got. I don't believe that. I wonder why. But it, no. it puts an interesting perspective on what it is that we consider to be deities. Well, take Mercury in all arms. They yeah, it's kind of putting her on the same <laughs> level. That she's just like them? How is that possible? Faith can do many things, Mordecai. And I'm still trying to come to grips with... All of that. The... Belief in something... Or furthermore, a pact with something holds so much 
hour. And each one keeps asking us if we would join them. Because they know what that power is worth. On an instinctual level. Further than we would understand just by virtue of reading a contract. Yeah, or maybe... I mean, this whole story is pretty much about them gathering followers and, and and building their power through gathering followers. It could have become just like an instinct for them, or or maybe even mindless. Maybe Shona, like, we have this theory that Shona Reef is actually mindless, and maybe, um, you know, it could just be could just be an instinct or or a, or a mechanism even, or even uh, something at, at a subconscious level, maybe. You know what I mean? Like, they, they gather followers the same way that we would breathe, you know. But there's a difference. Demons... Fiends... Rather. Fae... Forceful tactics... Possession... Conversion... They were created by those who came before them. And we know this, we've known this for a long time. But we just... Whilst she is like them in that she rules over a primordial faction in this world, from the symbology She was create turned into what she is, not by the virtues of being created or born like that. She was turned into what she is by virtue of the faith that others had in her. But we saw one of the giants make her that way. Right? That's the symbols? We saw a giant plant the seed. But the first humans made it grow. Mordecai, would you like to roll an insight? <clears throat> I'm terrible at it, sure. <laughs> yeah, no, insight's more my shtick. Six. At some point in time, we will break a ten. <laughs> but now is not the time. <sighs> yes. Maybe, may, maybe today... Maybe not today, <laughs> maybe not to certainly not tomorrow, but someday, we'll break it in. <laughs> the... There's something about the concept, it, it, where it's a... It's a dynamic that Celine must be talking about. And maybe this is just you got to read up a little bit more, if uh, or just if not through uh, if not through Weejas's own uh, teachings or texts. Uh, there's just something about the way that Selena is processing this, but it seems like a uh, some sort of like a power dynamic uh, that she's discussing. Well, I know how strong Selene's faith and it is significantly stronger than mine. I think. And a lot stronger than mine. Yeah, she's staring at the magic eye and can tell you that there's a schooner there, but you're you just can't see it. Can I have Peggy Sue fly up and investigate the little nooks and crannies and look for more names or evidence of anything that might point toward it being like some kind of storage facility? 
Uh, you can, and there is no evidence of that. Uh, at least okay. the uh, yeah, like uh, here, uh, and and it, we're we're getting like th this same facade exists on the other side as well. Um, right. So you you can talk about this though. Technically, we're here. Just that that gate is behind you all. Right, so we, oh, so we came back almost to the start then. And so you all would be over here, and the gate would be behind you a ways. Uh, you're not even this close to this this temple. You can see it, but this underwater cavern, uh, which by all rights should be absolutely flooded with water, uh, but isn't. Uh, though you are seeing almost the evidence of, uh, like, there's a fish and. There, there is some like seaweed and stuff, but there's not water necessarily here. You, you can see like there's a little waterfall coming in, so whatever sort of bubble is keeping this thing not filled with water, uh, it, you're getting these leaks like what you saw back in that grotto. Uh, but that's ahead of you. The, the conversation could still be about the gate and what you pass through. Uh, though the other side of the gate looks like the one that you approached, and my my words still hold true is that there's no. There's no um, uh, bodies or anything uh, in particular. Uh, well, I don't know. There might be. Hang on a second, because what I can do if, uh, if you're going around searching here is I can uh, I can give this a little shuffle because I don't know. Maybe you maybe you'll find something. Um, the the discussion is free, but if we're going to explore, then let's find out what. Uh, what might uh, be in wait here. And of course, like last time, because Bright is... Uh, uh, ooh, you know what? I actually got to make sure that I have... You all pulled a... Uh, you all pulled a Joker last time. Mm -hmm. Yep. Let's get out of there. There's only one Joker left in this. <laughs> I mean, right now it feels like there's at least four. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Are we including the Nightmare? Is it like four and a half? Or... <laughs> all jokers around here. <laughs> Ethereal Cypher makes 4.75. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not, uh, even, not even half a joker. He's on the Ethereal point. So, uh, Bright, when you say stop, I will I will stop riffling, and that's where I'll cut. Uh, stop. Okay. I don't have any video coming in either, so I, I didn't oh. realize. Oh, okay. I don't know why. Uh, does anybody else have any video at all, or... or... I had so, video on Maddie. Okay, yeah. I, I don't. You all just reset for me, but just reset. Yeah. 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 I, have, oh, I, I, have I tried to reconnect in the hopes that it would make video appear, but it didn't. Oh. Okay, that's fine. I'll um, uh, I'll live with it. I heard okay. the I heard the riffles though. So okay. Don't... Well, uh, bright as uh, as you are having uh, Peggy Sue uh, scout around. Uh, oh, well, that's cool. Uh, she finds something. Uh, but. Uh, it is, uh, it's not a body. That could be good. Uh, you find. Yeah, I mean. A body's probably not the worst thing to find right now. Unless it, <laughs> unless it gets back up. Yeah, well. Maybe it would be. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah, no, uh, no guarantees, but yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, uh. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and roll a percentile. Ninety-two. Oh. Okay. Ooh, that's so high. Uh, go ahead and roll three d six. Uh, what? What? Um. What? What did I draw? By the way. A oh uh, a four of diamonds. Four of oh okay so that's that's treasure right? Yes. Okay. Yep. Some but it's small treasure. But that's okay. Small treasure is better than no treasure. 11 is the total. All right. Uh, Peggy Sue tells you that she found uh, 11 gold pieces, but they, they look like that old gold that you had found before that uh, you have uh, you have the nightmare currently <laughs> carrying. Okay. Carrying, carrying. Well, I mean, that's great. She you, can bring them down. Oh. Okay, yep, she'll, she can bring them down. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I can reach it with my mage hand, in which case the mage hand can bring them down. <laughs> Uh, yeah, a joint effort. Yeah, you have uh, eleven more old gold. Okay. 
I'll let Mordecai add those to the to the treasury. Sweet. That's nice. Uh, but yes, you do not find any uh, any names or uh, bodies or I mean, th there's architecture here. Okay. Well, does anybody have any more ideas? I mean, it doesn't feel like this is the end of the road. It feels like this maybe is like a shrine or something, but it isn't really the seat of power. Seed. Are we looking for a seat of power? Because I thought we were looking for undead. Yeah, my guess Wild is that, undead. that we're probably not going to find that many. Well, who knows? I mean, never, never guess what you're going to find in the next in the next room in the dungeon. But my guess is that it's. <laughs> I, I, you can't stop me. I'm going to guess anyway. My guess is that we're not going to find wild and wild undead. We'll find, like I said before, either some sort of like power system, like we found in the last, you know, in Oiho when we risk when we freed Mercury, or else, um, I don't know, something something along those lines. But I'm ready to move on if, and stop talking. Okay. Okay, we can move on. All right, walking away from the arch. Uh, and conversation is free. I, I won't pull a card for conversation, but as we're moving forward, uh, I will pull a card for that. And this one is uh, going in the order that I have you on my screen. Uh, I'm going to pull this for Celine, And I'm going to have, uh, um, well, I mean, Noralize here, but also not. So I'll just cycle through the three active uh, players here. Um, so you continue walking, and uh, Celine stumbles across. Uh oh, there's a trap. Uh, it is the four of spades, uh, and that is going to necessitate. Uh, oh, maybe, uh, maybe nothing. Uh, Celine, can you roll a d4 for me, please? Because we are still under the effects of hero's feet, feet, feast, feast. And okay. death ward on myself and Selene. Uh, all right. So this is not poison. Uh, this would be for a disease. Can you make a con, please? Uh, okay. Uh, you. Uh, actually, I think something like this yeah, happened yeah. happened before. But uh, you, you pass by some kind of a uh, uh, some kind of a. It's not a statue. Uh, no, it, it'd be almost like a barnacle. And as you do, it just sort of like... There's like a, a wispy dust that uh, explodes. Uh, and uh, it you <laughs> kind of cough, but you wave it off. And as far as you're concerned, nothing... You know, it's a little weird. But nothing tingles. Not you don't feel weak. Not affected by a disease. You are not affected by a disease. Uh, we keep going then. Y'all keep hitting my my constitution save traps, and you're either immune to poison or your your disease is just not a thing. Hmm. Um. Lots of restoration. We're a well, level fifteen party. Yeah. Lots of restoration. Yes, and I have plenty of those. Uh, so you are finding uh you are finding more of uh aquatic style things. There's water. And in fact, there's even like pools of water. There's like a pool of water, and it, it's rippling. There's, it's coming like there's some drips coming down from somewhere way up. But, no, well, all right. Uh, Queen of Hearts for Mordecai. Oh. Uh, that is a story beat. Hmm. Um. As you approach, in fact, that's a. That, that is a, a good amount of progress. That is a big story beat here. Uh, your heart beats. Uh, it goes doki doki. And doki. Uh, you do see that there are, on the path up towards this place, there are statues here. And 
and one is giving you very draconic vibes, and the other, um, well, compared to what you've seen, and now comparing against this dragon, although the dragon itself seems to be hooded, cloaked. Uh, it has, it does have a, a um, uh, an, the I was gonna say a beak, a uh, muzzle, snout, snout. Uh, it poking out here, and now we have another figure, very humanoid, but uh, there are proportions to it that do make it very much larger than life, and so uh, you have a, a robe coming down here, uh, which is giving you a very strong impression of a cloaked dragon and a cloaked gigante um, as you approach the bridge that uh, is going to lead you to this temple. Uh, as well, a uh, a fish. In fact, it's a it's a fish that is, is fairly common uh, in the in the marketplaces. I guess up above that you could find uh, fishmongers selling in the port. Uh, so a very common variety of fish just sort of swims past you all. Like in front of our faces or yeah. in the pools? No, in front of you all. Interesting. Are we under the ocean? Look up. You guys see the waterfall, but... Further. Like, if you catch an angle, you, like, you can look beyond, like, say, so here's a... You know, I'll, I'll do this in green. It's so like, here's a manufactured arch, but here, this is, like, n natural rock support. And if you, if you just sort of, like, you curve your eyeballs up and through... Uh, there is, uh, it, it's murky, but there is some sunlight trickling down through water. Do I have the sense of being Why? deeper than, like, in elevation lower down, or higher up than the water that we saw pouring through the grotto? Um, there's, there's nothing from the water itself that could indicate that. No, I'm just thinking, like, I vaguely remember that we went, like, we walked up to get out of there and, and into the, the, whatever, the place we were just at, the We Just story place. But I don't remember if I remember that or not. Oh. I might have um, something else. I'll say it's colder here. So you're probably further underwater if water's okay. surrounding you all. Uh, it, okay. it, it is colder. There is still the smell of salt water. Um, though, unlike in the last place, you're not seeing salt deposits. Like, salt water splashed somewhere, dried, and left the salt behind. It does okay. smell kind of salty and aquatic, but it's... Uh, even the water it's plip plipping down, there's no... There's, there's no deposits. Okay. Hey, Maddie. Yes. Could you pull up the Mesotopia map for a second, please? Certainly. Doop, doop, doop. So. We're off this coast. Yep, you're right here. Mm-hmm. Now, remember, the old Coffee there. and Fluffy, we saw that there was a thing that stretched all the way across here. Mm hmm And broke apart. Some of it even going over the direction of Mesomasca. Now I believe in the center that was a particular symbol upon that said contigu near contiguous mountain range. Some kind of explosion. No, 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 no. Before that, uh, there was a. Uh, we had the. Hang on one second here. No, 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 no. Whoops, that is not what I wanted to do. Uh, there was a passage. If that's what you're talking about. 
as this was uh, indicated to be contiguous mountain. With a passageway through here. Yeah, I, I interpreted that as like a pass, not even like a manufactured passageway, just like a natural opening that people could use to cross one side to the other. Maybe mm -hmm. that was not the right interpretation, but that was my interpretation. That was my interpretation too. Mm. So see, I had the thought that maybe, maybe there was a, that upon the some of the mountains that broke off and drifted further into the sea, which would have happened when they broke. I think it may have taken a temple with it. Oh. There were possible. great waves in water. And I'm thinking that that temple washed up, ended up washed up over here. I mean, so you mean washed yeah. off of Mesomasca? I was thinking it more, it, it may have more washed off over here and drifted southward. Well, maybe. Wouldn't it be unlikely for it to have not broken? Like we're looking at an almost intact building, not at a decrepit ruin. I mean, we're talking about magic here. Anything could be possible. Yeah. There's also and... the possibility that it was built on Mesomasca, and when the region... Yeah, what it all exploded and got washed into it the sea. Flooded. Well, I'm just seeing yeah. it as probably just like an earthquake, and it just sank into the ocean. Like in that old legend of Atlantis that probably no one here has heard. <laughs> <laughs> My thought is that the region flooded and that temple got buried in the water with it yeah yeah that is possible hmm. just a point that I thought that I would bring up as, a, as an out of character thing but okay we can go back to the temple now okay if you need to do any more any more map doodles or anything that's fine uh, you, these conversations are perfectly fine to have. But it's something I thought that I would bring up. As, uh, this Selene is... place would have to be ancient if it's dedicated to dragons and giants. Very. Um, Selene says that, uh, if that was uh, Mord Mordecai saying that, Selene says very absent-mindedly as she's still making notes and... Yeah, Mordecai is talking out loud. He's <laughs> kind of processing out loud. I mean, to be fair, it it uh, the 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 thing does not the 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 imagery does not paint Weech Ass in the best light. No, but Celine <laughs> seems weirdly unfazed by this. Uh, something something. Norali says Weech Ass is giving her really strange feelings. Something, yeah. something, something. Norali is staunchly anti-authoritarian and has some real issues. Bright, uh. as this is uh, continuing uh, to be discussed and observed. Oh, yeah. Nine of Clubs. That's a combat encounter. That is. Whoops. Uh, are you all still here? Apparently I hit a button that yeah. refreshed the... Yeah, no, we're okay. good. Yeah, 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 no, wait, we're still here. Mm -hmm. Um, but, yeah, no, nine, nine, nine of clubs, that's a, that's a stop. Yep, uh, unless you have any more portents to deflect this, uh, this is going to end up being 90 hit points of damage coming, uh, the way of the party. Mm. We can just Ooh, assign no. that all to Norlay. It's fine. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure that'll drop her. Uh, I have her character sheet up. Let's see. Uh... Oh, I lost it when I refreshed the... Uh... Right, so hang on, let me... That's what you get when get you this. miss the session. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Just, just the savage. Yeah, uh, so much is... So much oh, is like... 90 will not drop her. 
Okay. Well, I didn't. I didn't really mean it. Um, but we could. We could distribute it. Remember, you can distribute it, and every uh, every spell slot level will uh, mitigate ten hit points of damage. Yeah, I don't want to do that though. Okay. And it's actually probably like not efficient for us because we do have clerics, so it's probably more efficient to take the damage and heal it than mitigate it. Okay. I don't. I don't. Pretend I said something in character that matches up with that, because this is a very out of character -y thing. <laughs> uh, well, sure. Then, then we can narrate it through this. So, as you're exploring, um, bright, a very large, uh, a very large shark uh, comes looming out of the darkness and uh, goes to chomp at you, uh, initiating a, uh, a swirling combat uh, with the party. Uh, and this this is a weird looking this is a weird looking shark. Now it's not it's not mm -hmm. weird in an aberrant way, but this is just uh, this is just a shark that I don't know none of you have seen before. Maybe because it lives too far down yeah, in the waters, or you know this is just something that. <laughs> but it doesn't have a bunch of extra eyes and, and tentacles. Um, but it does have okay. a, an ancientness to it. Uh, so yes. That's a bonus. How would you like to split this? I'm okay with taking 22 damage. Yeah, I'll take 22. Someone other than me has to take the odd damage. Oh, sorry, I'll take 23, Bravo. Okay. Oh, do you want Norlai to take any, or no? Yeah, I mean, she has to take her share. I was joking when I said she could take it all, but... Okay. Maybe... So she's, she's going to take 22? I'll yeah, take maybe she can take some. Okay. Uh, I'd be 23 for you, uh... Me? Yeah. Okay. Noted. That's fine. I'm, I'm down to 64. I'll be fine. I'm um, at 82. Yeah. I'm at 85. Yeah. We can pick up a heal whenever we need to. Yep. How many hit points does the horse have? Can the horse take damage? I believe I it can. I believe it's already tanked some, so take more. I don't know exactly. I don't think that's a... It took 20 the last time. From the 100. I don't see something here. Uh, I'd have to look at a... Uh... I, I think, uh, I think, I think uh, Dark Wolf was tracking it separately, but... Okay. Uh, yeah, no, I, I did know. It, I did know it took twenty hit points of damage from the one hundred we all tanked, but we all tanked twenty each, except for me because I decided to spend two level two spell slots. Yeah, um, because they are those are things I can chuck like candy. We don't really need to. Um, I mean, I just wondered. It's not like we're urgently needing to to mm. do that. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, what is a what is a combat every so often without Bright trying to be eaten by or not? She's not trying to be eaten, but without me trying to eat uh, Bright with a monster. So it's true. <laughs> you got in one good bite. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a twenty-two. It's amazing how consistent your die rolls were. It's just twenty-two, twenty-two, yeah, 22 hey, the, twenty-three. <laughs> apparently, I found what worked for me to do anything to y'all here. All right. <laughs> uh, next up, uh, Celine, you are just finding all of the. Uh, you're finding all of the uh, oopsies, as we have a seven of spades, uh, and this is going to be uh, okay. Uh, so the uh, the shark that you all had just uh, uh, had just uh, gotten in a uh, the last strike on goes to flail as it's just flawlessly flying, but it really looks like it's swimming um, uh, through this area. And it knocks into a large coral column, uh, which uh, shifts, and uh, and it ends up uh, it ends up falling, but it's braced somewhat against another nearby one. And what this is, uh, and, and so what this is going to do is not so much a dexterity in this case. Um, but this is going to end up being a strength save uh, to like push off and away before both of them 
end up uh, collapsing since it destabilized the other one. Uh, and Anomalous Thracian, thank you so much for re-upping. Uh, so, Celine, let me get a strength save, please. Oh, no. No. Whammies. All of them. <laughs> a one oh. or a zero. Well, all right. Oh, no. Uh, one second. I got to go to this part of the book. I mean, maybe it's DC one. <laughs> no. If only I was so lucky. That triple crit sucked away all my all my dice luck, and now I'm pulling dice from Derek's bag. <laughs> I mean, we have an emote for that. That's true. We do now. <laughs> uh, oh, I, I, I believe I do have the subscription to him, so I should be able to do that. Yes, the Derek dice emote. Uh, I am even rolling d10s for this as well. Uh, so this is going to be non-magical bludgeoning damage. Uh, Celine, as you are, uh, as you are sort of crushed and even partially ground against, uh, these columns. Oh, no. This was a very dangerous situation, uh, given the level of the severity of this. Uh, so this is 43 non-magical bludgeoning damage, uh, as you are crushed in between some crumbling coral columns. Yeah, no. Oh, Pale Dragon, thank you. Sub bombs. Yeah. Hey, and I got one out of that. Thank you, Pell Dragon. Um, all you can hear is the grinding and then the shouting of Dex, 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 <laughs> this hurts. <laughs> so, like, you're. Ow. You try to catch it and you're just. You're getting crushed. Uh, but uh, through teamwork. I'm going to go and help her. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you can free her. <laughs> um,. Are you taking a healing, uh, a healing moment, or do you want to continue on? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna heal. Yeah, yeah. I think that's gonna... uh, think that's appropriate. And you know what? Because I don't really use this slot for a lot else. Uh... Boom. Whoa. Okay. All right. She's fine. She's fine. Um. <laughs> With that though, uh, Celine, you uh, you really feel depleted, and uh, as this is happening, uh, I mean Mordecai is over here helping to pull the the rubble off of you, um, but you're not feeling so well, and in in an outside of hit point capacity. You all right? Uh, that took a lot out of me. What do you, what do you need? Well, she kind of slowly clambers out of the, out of the mess. Well, not, uh, not regular healing, if you know what I mean. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And he approaches and kisses her. Okay. If she wants something, then she can have it. Yeah, it's a very effervescent kiss. Um, you get that kind of rush of minty freshness just without the mint. Uh, Mordecai, you, you are a little winded, uh, after it, though. Uh, I mean, maybe it is your heart going doki-doki, but, um, uh, yeah, it's just sort of, it leaves you a little, a little woozy afterwards. Uh, but she does look healthier, uh, you know, colors restored back to her, uh, her chubby cheeks, and, uh... Oh, that one made me a little sick. Mordecai, I, I appreciate the irony of of this happening to you after you were a vampire but you can't just keep doing this forever we have to I, I don't understand 
how this part works, but it doesn't seem like a long-term solution. It seems like you lose more than she gains. And even if you didn't, you can't share one life. It's no different from Fairy and, and her sister. But it's my oh, choice to make. Well, it is. I'm not. I'm not saying I should make the choice for you. Well, <laughs> that's okay. that's that's for Evil Bright, not for me. <laughs> it just it just doesn't doesn't seem right. That's all. If we come up with a better solution, then we come up with a better solution. But we don't have a better solution right now. So, I mean, unless you want to kiss her. I mean, she's. I mean, we've never really felt that way about each other. <laughs> Celine has a slight dusting of pink on her cheek, of pink pink on her cheeks. As this is being discussed in this manner. <laughs> I mean, unless I'm wrong, Celine, but I never, I never felt that from you. I'm not. She's kissed Norali before. Honestly, I'm surprised that you haven't explored that more, Celine. Celine just slow turns to Mordecai. It's just like... I've been dead for two years! Yeah, and you weren't exactly faithful before that. Not like we had really solidified, you know, being a thing, you know. I Mordecai. hadn't actually oh, proposed. Mordecai, Mordecai, Mordecai. What, Mordecai, Mordecai? I'm going to be completely candid with you right now. Uh huh. More than I've ever been. And she clasps it by both the shoulders. I can't always be the one to take the initiative. At the time that you did, I was dead. You're taking the initiative now, and that's a good thing! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh... All I'm saying is you can't blame me for what happened then, because I was waiting for you! Hold on. Wait. I was specifically talking about the Dragonborn, you know, who was in Mask of Horns. You know? The, the 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 one time you decided you wanted to explore with other people. You had been you had been exceptionally apprehensive and I had needs that needed sorting. I Have we got a clone I... for that scavenger hunt that well scavenger hunt. That 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 thing that we were doing. We got clues out of it as well, so hey. It was also pro actually productive. Yeah, but you hadn't asked me if I was okay with it before. But we already discussed this. Never. We're, we're moving on. Moving on. You know, I, I'm. I'm okay. So long well, as I'm informed first. Okay. Well, now that we are proper, now that we are properly a thing. Yes. I completely and totally understand. Now, to make things completely awkward and then leave this co this conversation topic behind for a very, very long time. I... And by that, I... Uh, by the person I'm referring to now, I mean you, Bright. You know, after a few glasses of... pitches of wine... <laughs> One's mind can tend to wander to some strange places, and that's where we're going to leave that pretty much forever. Okay, 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 okay. We have this shrine here. We should. I, I, this is really interesting. We should just look at it and take notes. You know, this is the same reaction you had to Selter pointing out that you had feelings for me. Because she could see it playing on your face, mm. apparently. Mm. I'm... We're not talking about that either, Monokai! 
I'm just saying I'm an oblivious person, okay? <laughs> I, I'm, I wasn't the one to make the first move on any of the relationships that I've ever been in. All those poor ladies. Oh. And Ben. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. You're a changed person now. Yes. You're a changed, I'm you're a changed person now. Hopefully. Sort of. I'm still a... Mm, I don't know. That's questionable. But... Well, if the jury's still out on it, the jury's still out on it. But you've, cha you've changed in one way or another. I mean, you know... The, the point of being... Well, not really tiefling anymore. Well, I was gonna say not a vampire anymore. That that. Well, that too. That too. Not a vampire anymore. I mean, I'm sorry that I couldn't find you the cure. It's all better now. I and mean, wh what? You have to go to hell? Yeah. That was not fun. I don't know that you've ever seen <laughs> past the gates of hell, but they're not pretty. It's, it's not, not so bad. I've heard stories. And let's just put it at that. I've heard stories. Hey. <sighs> I was more meaning along the lines of, you know, I'm not a vampire anymore, so I'm alive. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Oh, I know. <laughs> not that that makes that any less weird. But you think the absurdity of things now... After everything that's gone on, questioning the absurdity of things now of all times. <laughs> you know, it all just becomes the absurd after a while. The little things, the absurd little things start to be a little bit more noticeable. The absurd big things, I'm just like, that's a thing we have to deal with now. Yeah? Yeah? I mean, and the rest? This is our- this is- these are our lives now. Yep. Now. If we right. come up with a better solution to... ...keeping Celine... ...here... ...with us... Then we'll find a better solution at some point. Well, I mean, it's not like the, there are other solutions that don't... It's not like there aren't other solutions that exist, it's just that not better. And I am... willing... to do that. Because... I don't... I don't want... to do that again. I don't want to lose you again. I mean, I would rather not die again as well. You know what? Dying sucks. Like, it really sucks. So if me giving away my life force means that I don't have to do that for a little bit longer, that's fine. Not too much. You don't want you dying. Again. This whole thing is probably going to cost all of us our lives, so... Kind of inevitable, I think. What? 
I consider that completely evitable. Shonaruth is either going to kill us all, or we're going to kill it. Yeah, let's do the second. It's too bad the professor ran off before the time. I hope he's... Who am I kidding? He's not okay. That, that he's a crazy man. bastard is what he is. Maybe, but... Maybe not. He's always been a bit of a crazy bastard. I don't know that you know him personally, Celine. I was around him for a bit. For a bit. As as but he's, I he's completely batshit. I Yes, he is. But in the same breath. Wasn't Jade? Hmm. And yeah. Jade was one of the smartest, most insightful people I know. Strange, isn't it? That very thin line between being a visionary and a genius and being a madman, madwoman. very thin line, I think. It's a very thin and a very blurred line. Now, shrine! Shonaruth keeps taking and taking and taking from this world and we need to make sure that it stops. So, if that means that we're all going to our death to make sure it doesn't happen anymore, if you well, don't want to be part of that, then, then, then we can go, we can do something else. Look, honestly, it doesn't really matter what it is that we do. We can either go ahead and fight him and possibly win, or not, and consign ourselves to failure. And look, when we see when we see whatever he looks like, we can stab him with the big giant eye he probably has. <laughs> <laughs> that was... That is what you told me to do. Yes, it's exactly what I told you to do. See, I like thinking. Bright, I know you like thinking. We like thinking. We like, we like figuring things out. But sometimes, what is a woman or a man or anything in between to do but just Find the problem, walk up to it, and hit it till it dies! <laughs> Sometimes that's effective. You have no idea how many times I've hit machines just to get them to work. Well... And it worked half the time. From what are, from what's been sh from what's been shared, apparently reality looks like a giant a giant fleshy machine. So maybe punching Shorteruth would be like punching the ma punching a machine to get it to work. <laughs> we'll find out, I guess. Well, I mean, what else are we gonna do? Exactly. It's devouring the world. We might as well. Try and do something about it. But yes, this 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 shrine, this shrine here, dragons, giants. Mm -mm. I think we should go inside. Who knows what else we'll find? We won't know until we go. Well, Mordecai, I can answer that question. You always find the treasure, and it's always a good one. That is not fair. Who knows what we'll find? I don't know. Let me because see. What do you I find? I Mr. Moneybags. Uh, Hold on. Get one of these. Okay. This is, this, this is Mordecai right now. <laughs> Kiss me, I'm all your dish. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, all right, Mordecai, I need you to roll. Uh, let's see, that is a nine. That is a d10, please. D10. Five. Five. All right. Uh, as you wander and you're you're talking as you're going through this cavern and you're making your way past these uh, these very large statues and just other um, these other edifices where uh, the the temple does look like it has received damage, uh, though. Um, I mean, it looks old and worn, even though there's not a breeze here. But maybe there's some truth to the you know, could a, a wave had hit it back in its prime. It, it doesn't not look like that could be the case. Uh, and you do see that uh, in a pile of rubble, there's a little bit of a... Uh, there's a little bit of a glimmer that catches your eye, Mordecai. And uh, when you pick it up, uh, there is a comb made of gold in the shape of a dragon that has red garnets for its eyes. Oh. Like a decorative comb? Like... Well, it's like a functional a... comb. But, yeah, if you want to use it on your hair, I mean, you're really, like, flaunting wealth. Huh. Oh, that's interesting. I mean, I have the best hair, so, so that should go to me. I mean, if you want it. <laughs> no, I don't really. I'm not... I'm not that flaunty. <laughs> you have very good hair, though. <laughs> Thank you. There's uh, there's something about the stylization, though, that uh, while there's not a lot of dwarves that live in uh, Mesomasca, or even in Mesotopia as a whole, uh, it you're getting the feeling that this was uh, of dwarven make. Mm. Mm-hmm. Seems only right to go with the Dwarven Shield, don't you think, Celine? Yeah. Go very well with the Dwarven Shield. You want to put the comb in your hair? Yeah. Sure, you can do that. Celine will just uh, whip her whip her long hair up into like a bun and then stick the comb in. All right, you have a little gold dragon with uh, with garnet eyes uh, in your black hair. Don't lose it. Uh, bright, bright cautions, and is rewarded for her humbleness and turning down the comb with a trap. Well, that's unfortunate. What did I draw? A nine of spades. Yeah, all right, I'll eat it. All right. I need a, uh, I will need a dexterity save from Bright as, um... Oh, no. Oops. Oh, man. I, uh, again, some point in time we'll, we'll roll above a 10 on something. Uh, but <laughs> that red 4 absolutely oh, is I not did. the time. Oh, you did? Okay, all right. Yeah, uh, con save. My, my con save that I made. It's a 16. Um, so what, uh, let's see... Uh, what happened is, uh, as you are walking and talking, uh, apparently the glinting gold uh, that is not tarnished here uh, must have caught the eye of something here as a, uh, a crab about the size of Bright herself uh, that, that looked like a, that looked like an unsuspecting stone uh, whipped a claw out uh, and ended up giving her a uh, ended up giving her a snip. Um, now, that is going to be, that's another high trap as well. Uh, this could be a pretty bad one. All right, so that's going to be, uh, this powerful, this, uh, again, this, like, ancient giant crab, just like there was that ancient giant shark, uh, deals, uh, uh, claw damage to you of uh, yeah. some variety of 67. Jeez. That's that's an excessive amount of damage. It's quite excessive. 
10d10, <laughs> wow, I, I don't even know about that. Okay, well, it knocks me down. Okay. So, well. hopefully somebody will heal me. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. The, the four like, loud noises uh, and magic spells scare it off and it scurries away. I will, I will let you, uh, go ahead and, um... Yeah, I'm gonna do a heal at a Ooh. level eight spell slot. Oh, well, that's nice. That gets me back up. Yeah. I know. That's that's a lot of of hit points. Oh, Celine, it's not working for you. Uh oh. Whatever you're just doing. <laughs> oh no, Celine is like bleeding like numbers and there letters out of her. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. It's because it's because it's, 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 it's a list link. Uh, the list links are different between uh, mine and Mordecai's. So. Okay. Wait, was that your level 6 or level 7, did you say? Uh, my level 8 spell slot. Oh, so that's actually 90 hit points. Mm-hmm. Wow. I sure do appreciate that. I'm as good as new. No, almost. 7. Sorry. Oh. That's it's almost as good as new. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. 80. That's still yeah. pretty good. Uh, Definitely take that. So this creature just whip, uh, whips out a claw and... Uh, uh, almost tears uh, bright asunder uh, her uh, uh, she's barely like holding together and through the quick actions of Mordecai uh, as this thing is uh, scurrying away um, with gnome blood on its claws apparently uh, Mordecai you are over and you are able to save bright uh, before it's too late that's good I hope it doesn't bring back that shark oh no you, you all killed the shark it's it, oh, okay. Yeah, it, in a death throw, that's what knocked over the coral column on top oh. of uh, Celine. I hope it doesn't bring back a different shark. Ah, or another crab. Uh, but let's find out, uh, Celine, uh, as there's uh, hopefully not too much blood in the not water. Uh, this this is going on, and oh wow! All right, well, there's a treasure for your troubles. That is an ace of diamonds. Oh, wow. Yay! So many diamonds. And aces are high. Aces are high. Yes. Oh. oh. Not neat. All right. Yeah. I need a. Uh, I need a percentile roll, please. Percentile. Hey, that's pretty. Eighty-eight high. is also high. Uh, okay, so that's gonna take us. Uh, roll another percentile. Another percentile? Please. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Uh, as... Uh, as the crab ends up scurrying away, uh, it looks like well, you weren't the only people who had come down here at some point, or at least not the only people who have had a tussle with this, uh, this stone-looking, uh, the stone-looking crab, uh, as something clangs as it scuttles off, and uh, what clangs onto the stone path is a sword that, despite being thrust into the hard shell of this stone-like crab, and even in this uh, in this uh, environment, bears no tarnishing. Uh, let's, uh, whip it out and have a look. Uh, sure. You can go over and pick it up. It's just, it's laying there. The crab doesn't seem to be coming yeah. back for it. Yeah, I'll pick it up and have a look at it. Uh, all right. I, I'm going to need you to make one more, uh, one more roll, please. I need a... I need a D3. There's your D3. Okay. Uh, it appears to be a very, uh, a very nice great sword. A, a nice two-hander. Well. Hmm. Not anything we can use. Nothing any of us can use. But we might be able to trade it for something fun. Well, um, I mean, I can, I can use it technically. You use your shield, so. Yeah. 
Uh, well, and it's a strength weapon. I can't use it. I've got proficiency. And if it's a plus, then it's like plus six or plus seven to hit, but it's not it's not it's not ideal it's not in the great. least. Yeah. yeah, that's really not ideal at all. Well why don't why don't I identify it and find out what it is for real? Stuff? Yeah. Alright. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, as you uh, take 11 minutes to examine this sword that's probably even bigger than you are, Bright. It probably uh, is. Uh, um, it is... Well, uh, while I'm looking around, oh. I mean, seeing as we're in this place where we're underwater, but mm -hmm. we don't get wet, and there was just this big crab, I'm going to look for any kind of suspicious-looking sponges and starfish. Uh... <laughs> Uh, th there are some. Uh, in fact, as you're sitting down, a, a starfish just very slowly, uh, over the course of 11 minutes, like just crawls past you. Okay. Bye, Patrick. See you. <laughs> <laughs> I was awake at 5 a.m. when that came on to one of the channels this morning. And, you know, I had to sit there and ask myself, what am I doing watching SpongeBob SquarePants at 5 o'clock in the morning? Oh, that's right, I've lost control of my life. That's why I'm watching my pump square pants at 5 o'clock in the morning. I don't even know how to... Okay. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's fine. <laughs> um, Game derail complete. You, uh... In... in the, the way that the universe speaks to you, uh, in this in this way, it's a as a DM to a player. Uh, you have found a uh, a great sword that is a luck blade. Oh. Oh my. Ah. Uh, so this is. Yeah, I'm gonna keep and attune to that just for the simple fact of uh, yeah, that's wishes. It is. Uh, I am. I'm going to exercise some uh, some DM discretion. I'm going to say there's one wish on it. The other property is absolutely wish. fine, but there's one wish uh, that can be used on the luck blade. Okay, I I will note ninety nine point nine percent of like my particular wish usage is spell duplication. Because doing anything else is just too dangerous with wish. It, it, it's it's your call. Uh, I'm fine with it having a wish, uh, even if you don't use it for something big. But uh, yeah. it, it does have one wish on it. Like, I'm, I'm either going to use it as a... Like, the only time I'm going to use it as an actual wish is if we're going to die if we don't. So... If you want. You but, have a wish. Uh, yeah. Uh, but however, possible to all saving throws is a solid thing. So yeah, the, even using that as basically a protection is a good plus for her. Even if she doesn't wield it as a sword, she just wears it on her back. Yeah. Well, with a sword that large, you wouldn't put it on your back. No. Because you have the... Wear it on her hip. Doesn't a sword that big have to go on your back? No. Like I, I don't a, know how tall is Celine. <laughs> you scrape in the edge on the, like on the ground here. Foot. She's only she's five, five foot, foot four eight. right now. Five foot. No, she's like five foot eight right now. Oh yeah, that's right. Corinna. Yeah, Kay. she's five foot eight right now. But um, because uh, yeah. I'm imagining this, this this thing is like a regular like. Claymore. I'm not thinking something along the lines of like a flam well, or a or a proper journal if, by hand or something. It's an anime sword. Well, and and you got to be. Uh, how are you carrying it as well? You found a sword. You do not have a sheath for the sword. That is fair. So I'm probably going to be carrying it in one hand at the moment. So there's like shield in Which, one, and you're just going to like put it over your shoulder with the other. Yeah. Okay. Hey, I mean, it anyone looking, look they, they, they they don't know if you can use it or not. I mean, that that could be like a, whoa, okay, hold on, what's going Why are you one-handing a two-handed sword and you have this shield, too? What's going on here? Uh, <laughs> sure. Remember, remember, I'm the high priestess of lies. I'll pair it with an, I'll pair it with a deception interaction attack. I don't care. <laughs> uh, all right, then we'll, uh, with, if with the... We had a barbarian. With the, the possibility, why did a crab That's have right. this? 
And then uh, suddenly Bright might realize, oh, that might have been a very poorly worded wish. Uh, the uh, <laughs> Whoever was down here uh, certainly got a wish of some variety. Um, I mean, maybe they just really wanted to be a crab. I mean, everything evolves into crabs anyway, <laughs> given enough time. So maybe they just really wanted to accelerate the process. Uh, the adventure continues with our very well-armed and armored uh, spellcaster. <laughs> and, oh, more, what the... Mordecai, uh, uh -huh. king of diamonds. Damn. Come on. Wow. Treasure. Yeah. Treasure. Um, well, I mean, you're, you're in a sunken area. It's, it's cool. Treasure makes its way down here. Uh, so that's going to be another percentile well, I mean, roll, please. I mean, look, he just... This this this, this crab is um the the uh, what's his name from from Moana the one with all the oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he just knocked a whole bunch of stuff loose it's fine <laughs> that's a pretty high number oh pretty my high. gosh statistically uh mm. uh all right so let's let's go to this Say chart your luck blade. Right. So, yeah, wouldn't that be something? Uh, let me get to this uh, this chart now. All right, roll another percentile, please. Okay. Man, Bright Bright hooked y'all up with the way that these cards were cut. Uh, Fifty one. Oh, <laughs> I think I found out what happened to the person who's wielding that sword. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, one second, let me go down to it, just to double check. Oh my. We are towards the back of the alphabet here. Nope, oh, not that far. What? Ah, alright. Okay, um... Uh, you find another shiny thing, because uh, in this video game, uh, good things are, are a little shiny, glimmery, and uh, there is a... Uh, there is a... Uh, it's not too shiny, but it absolutely does stand uh, stand out down here. You find a stick that belongs to a tree. There's no trees down here. And tied to the end of it is some sort of like a dried up frog. That hasn't deteriorated or withered or... No, I, I, the, so it's definitely a dead frog that's all like, it's desiccated. But it's tied to the end of a stick that belongs to a tree that does not belong down here. I'm a little confused about the tree. I'm a little confused about the fact that it's here. Right, do you mind spending a few minutes? No. <laughs> Out of character, well, I, I already know what it is, but in character, sure, I'll spend 11 minutes. <laughs> okay. Is it a wand of polymorph? It is. <laughs> it's a wand of polymorph. <laughs> So, we know what happened. We know what happened. He wasn't eaten by the crab. He became the <laughs> crab. Something must have gone wrong. It seems really up your alley, right? He he didn't know which, which end to hold. <laughs> <laughs> the, the frog does offer a little padded grip, you know? <laughs> yeah, I want to be very clear if I'm supposed to hold it by the frog or by the other end. <laughs> hold it by the not frog. Your identify hold spell it. is very clear on that. Hold it by the not frog end. Okay. Yeah. Does that require attunement? I don't remember. Uh, it does not. It is, uh... Ooh. It just spends charges, yeah. Yep. Well, then I will take that for sure. Okay. It's free polymorphs. It's free polymorphs. It's free real estate and polymorphs. 
<laughs> well, look, Paul, for everyone out Paul there, Paul this is the downfall of the party and, and the evil. Yeah, it will be free real estate. <laughs> is it, um, is it fully charged? Um... It yeah, uh, it's it would uh, it, it would have seven. It probably would have been hit down here long enough yeah. to brief charge fully. Yep. Yeah. Since the last time it was used. Okay. Well, I will I will take that. That'll be that'll be awful nice. Um. And I don't have to concentrate on that polymorph either. Oh no! It is uh it 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 is it is attunement required. One oh, it it is for attunement. polymorph. Yeah. For Wanda Polymorph, yeah. That Wanda makes sense. Oh, what was I looking at then? Is... Oh, I'm sorry. I, yeah, I was looking at... Uh, sorry, I was looking at the, the wrong one. Yeah. I mean, it still is the same as the other one I was looking at, but yeah, it does say require attunement. Okay. Sorry, I was looking yeah. at Wanda of Magic Detection, which is... Because I'm like, oh. The, anyway. Same page, just a different spell that I had in mind. I'm sorry, so yeah, it is an attunement. Okay. Well, I won't attune to it yet, but... Because uh, okay. my attunements are full. Um, because I've got my staff and... And... Um, and my cube, and, um... Don't you wish you were an artificer right now? <laughs> no. <laughs> Actually, I might, have a, I might have a slot. I don't know, I'll have to double-check, but it'll take it'll take time anyway, so... Uh, yeah, well, it'll take an hour. While you double-check, Bright, you find uh, another trap. This is the two of spades. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, it's a two. two. Yeah, it's a I, don't, two. I don't mind a two. You can tank it, too. Fine. Uh, okay. <laughs> A, uh, um, how would I describe this then? The, uh, as you are attuning once more, that suspicious starfish, uh, had, uh, uh, had come back and, uh, ended up, uh, crawling up you. And, uh, it seems to have been suction cupped to your body. I need you to make a strength save to peel it off without hurting yourself. Huh. Uh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't help you here. <laughs> <laughs> a strength save to peel it off without hurting myself. Can I kill it instead? <laughs> um. Uh, I'm going to say no because this is me trying to ad lib what a minor okay. strength based trap could be. Uh, okay. Playing into circumstances that have already happened, I I, I like the idea. Side. In another sense, yes, but Holy the, oh yeah, Ooh, look at that, you eighteen. You yeah, it. you uh, all right. Come so on. you're just like, okay, come on, little starfish, and, and you're even still a forest gnome. You're like, come on, come on. That's true. I'm using. I could use my forest gnome abilities to ask it to leave. That makes so much more sense. Uh, so you have a, you have a sticky starfish. You can throw it away, or I don't know. No, Put now that we're somewhere? friends, I don't want to throw it away. I'll carry it with me until I find a good place for it. Okay. If it if it if it sees something that would be a good home for it, it can it can poke me with its little arm tip. Okay. <laughs> and I'll put it there. All right, you there. successfully peel off the starfish without causing any more than a couple like little hickeys on your uh, on your skin. Uh, okay. Here we go, and this is for Celine. An eight of clubs. Uh oh, Celine's getting into trouble. Celine, you keep getting Celine. <laughs> into all the things here. Uh, so this is going to be seventy points of damage. Y'all need to mitigate. As uh, hmm. I don't know. This is some sort of uh. Oh, we had a uh, so we had a crab that kind of looked like stone. Uh, something like ropers. Uh, like they'd be like underwater ropers. Uh, maybe even those are the suspicious sponges. Uh, like oh, th these are you know interesting looking. They have a slight glow to them, and uh, tendrils just shoot out of these uh, these uh, spongy ropers and uh, start assaulting you all. Uh, and they're not quite so soft uh, as you come to find out, because uh, well, sponges are softer, but coral itself is really slicey. Uh, how would you like to distribute 70 points of damage from this encounter with uh, razor sponges? 70 does not divide into 3 very well. So, if we have Nora, if we, and it doesn't divide into 4 very well either. Nora volunteers to take 10 if you all take 20. 
Yeah, I'll take 20 and then mitigate it with a level 2 spell slot. Sure. I'll take 20. That's fine. Right. Uh, I'll just take 20. Okay. And Norl, I will take, uh, will take 10 points. I really need to save my spell slots. <laughs> and I am operating under the instructions from Dark Wolf saying, please don't use my spell slots. So, I mean, if, you, if it's super urgent, of course I will, but, you know, 10 points of damage is... It is what it is. All right. Next up, we have coffee. Mm. Or Mordecai. Uh, uh oh. Just when you thought it was safe, uh, we are drawing uh, more clubs. Y'all are paying for your treasure with blood. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be another 50 points of damage coming your way uh, as. Um, That's ten each from all of us, including the horse. And I know the horse can take a ten, another ten at least. You want to do that? Yeah. So another ten damage each. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a, a swarm of very very hungry fish come down, and uh, begin biting at you all. Uh, I mean, look, we have, look, we got a luck blade and a uh, what was it? The other thing, um, the 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 wonder polymorph. Yeah, we've got some pretty good <laughs> things out of this so far. Uh, we come back around to bright, uh, bright. Uh, your fortune declares. Hey, there's a story beat. Oh, I like those. Major uh, story beat or minor story beat? A minor, but you had a major one before, so with whatever system I'm using, this actually is going to uh, get you up to the doors. Uh, but you do get uh, fun little uh, descriptors, or I will highlight things uh, and make them bright and sparkly for you. And something that I can Thanks. highlight to be bright and sparkly is... Drawing as best as I can in this regard. You are seeing a motif over the facade of this sunken temple. As you get closer and closer here. Much like the image of Weejas did in the in the story. Yeah, a little bit. The symbol of her Arr. power or influence here. Yeah. Arr. So once oh, again, I speculate that this is a power storage facility. <laughs> Crown of the ruler of the undead. And we are going to clear our drawing. You say ruler of the undead like she's. and like she rules over vampires or things of that sort. As a goddess of magic and death, yes! Yes, she does! <laughs> I was under the impression that the vampires were a Shadowheart thing. Who do you think the Shadowheart worship? Well, <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> but culturally speaking, the undead is kind of a thing that Mesomaskins avoid. Yes, but Mesomaskins also practice a particular kind of Weejasism that other places don't. You know, like Shadaha and the fundamentalists who practice something different again. But it's all the worship of the same deity.
as you approach the great doors, uh, they are actually partially open. Um, all of you could slip inside easily without needing to do anything except maybe turn sideways. The horse turns sideways to fit inside. <laughs> all right, well, so the horse turning sideways might be, or uh, depending on your on your new uh, resurrected stature uh, or a, a particular uh, circumference, I'm... Celine, uh, that might not oh, help you too much. Hold on. Hold on. No, 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 it's fine. I can get through it just fine. But, uh, no, no, uh, we could just, we could just, you know, we could T-spin the horse through the slot in the door. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> We're technically underwater. We can just we can just T spin the horse through the door. It's fine. Uh, the the horse can get through. Don't worry. Uh, though this is your DM prompting you. Uh, do you want to go into the next section? Yes. 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 yes absolutely. T yes. spin triple five point. <laughs> okay. Inside. In a, uh, in a great hall. And of course, there's other rooms and, and such off of here, though. Um, you see a... Well, pretty well what you see. You see a, a great uh, statue at the end. Uh, very tall. A, a, a large statue uh, of great stature. Uh, who does have wings as well. Uh, appears... Human, though of course carved greater. Um wearing a dress although there is uh there is uh the debris that you see the debris here well the whatever these things were statues or something have uh markings of ancient wear and tear on them you do see without needing to roll anything that there are fresh break points uh over over whatever these were so there was some kind of a recent rumble that took place here. Hmm. Upon near want... this... Hmm? Yeah, I was I was just gonna say I kinda wanna look at the at the destroyed ruin whatever they are and see if there's any recognizable motif. Sure. Or... Well, I was actually going. I was actually going to ask specifically if there was any impression of the of the fundamentalist symbol of Weejas. No. No. Okay. Yeah, and I was going to ask if there's, like, if Weejas is ever depicted with wings like this. It doesn't seem like a Weejasy kind of depiction. No, but that's mostly because she's only ever depicted as a skull with maybe some fire. There's never really yeah. been body. Like a body of her. Yeah. Okay, so big big chance this has very little to do with WeChess. Um She is hooded like the characters outside were. Um Well as well as Mokai is observing the ruins, I'm kinda of walk over to the statue and my own wings are going to flare out from my back spreading wide oh I haven't I haven't updated my token I'm sorry Oh, it's okay. If you do, we can swap it out. No, it's fine. I just, I just need to do it because <laughs> coffee put put work into it. I need to use it. <laughs> I'm obligated. <Ugh. laughs> you don't have to feel obligated. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. Just... No, but it's my job as a DM to mean it like that. It's just to razz <laughs> everyone and keep us laughing. Yeah, okay. That's fair. <laughs> Um, all right, so uh, the approach up to the statue, you all are splitting to do some investigation. I need to draw for you anyway, Celine, and uh, we are in the next part, so actually give me one moment. Well, I'm kind of watching what she's doing. 
Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, you're you're here. Uh, you're you're doing things. But I have to do things too. Uh, Bright, what is your general? Uh, I, I guess what what is your first notion? Uh, walking in here, do you want to investigate? Do you just want to sit and think? Um, what? Um. So if something happens, I can flavor it. Yeah, I actually want to cast a detect magic. It's gonna take forever because it's ritual, but. Okay. All right, and I'm going to riffle. In fact, I'll riffle directly into the microphone to make it easier. Uh, Bright, where does uh, where does this set of events stop? Stop. Okay. A ASMR. Stop. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the ASMR. <laughs> Uh, the detecting magic, uh, as a ritual. Okay, so th that'll go on, and, uh, looking at the statue, and Mordecai, you're, you're looking for patterns among the rubble? Yeah, I'm kind of looking for, I'm kind of suspecting I'll find something fey representative, and perhaps fiend representative? Okay. Um, Celine? Uh, oh, you find a treasure. Do I? Yeah. Uh, that is... Uh, okay, so this is... Well, I mean, all of them, I guess, in some sense, could be a uh, moral decisions if you take these things that are, you know... That would belong to the dead or whatever else. Uh, there is a... Oh, let me go up to it. I need you to roll a d10 for me. I can roll a d10. All right. Uh, as you are uh, looking at the statue, um, you are seeing uh, signs of indentations uh, where other gems uh, would have been, and it looks like they were they might have been scraped out. Uh, you're seeing some again set against the the sort of the murky exterior, the worn exterior. You're seeing fresh stone from scratches, uh, maybe where things had been pried out, uh, and still within the uh, the plinth upon which this statue is uh, is set is a yellow uh, chryso barrel chryso barrel something it's that it's a barrel okay a, a yellowy green gem uh, set uh, in this it I mean maybe an altar but it'd be a, a strange one but certainly a support for the statue that's a part of it uh, do you want to do you want to take this gem or leave it? I'm gonna leave it. Okay. But we'll remember where it is in case we decide <laughs> to pick it up on the way out. Yeah. All right. Um. It is kind of odd if all the. All the tomb robbers were here before you and took all the gems except for one. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like it would be meaningful. <laughs> that is true, but at the same time, maybe they just couldn't pry it out. That's probably not a problem for us. <laughs> probably not. We're, we're pretty good priors. Hmm. Uh, so, Celine, you, you triggered my trap of finding a gemstone. Uh, now that you've paid the price and I've exacted my toll upon you, um, what are you? What's the gist that you're you're approaching this? Like, what, are you trying to figure out something? Uh, you just you just want to look it over to see if there's more things on or about it. 
Yeah, because I get the feeling that this statue of Weejazz bears a lot of resemblance to what I am right now. I mean, I don't think it is a statue of Weejazz, but it could be a statue of Selene. <laughs> that would be oddly prescient of them, though. Uh, as you investigate this statue, it is a female, though the hood covers up hair and thereby also ears. Um, you are reminded of yourself, and you could even think back to Raphael, and you could even look over your shoulder to Mordecai uh, as he's bent over, and just, damn, that ass is wiggling in the air as he's searching through that rubble. Uh, but you shake that off for a moment, and uh, you make the connection that yes, that we do have a, uh, we we do have oh, a. Does Mordecai a, a, shake it off? Ooh. A little <laughs> Uh We do have a winged figure. Um. That if not, we just seems to be a high follower of some kind. Uh, you also notice uh, fire blasts. Uh, now that you're looking over this thing. Uh, it hasn't really destroyed the statue, but you do see signs of fire. Scorching. Yeah, of scorching. Mm, scorch marks. Yeah. And so. looking at it, looking at it, I, I like, I think this might be a statue of we of Weejas, and she went through the same, she went through up the metamorphosis from what I am. That so she you... went further. So you think that this is like an intermediate stage of Weejas between when she ascended and when she became like purely a skull? Yeah. I was thinking this could be something on the Fey track rather than r rather than Weejas. Hang on, I'm sorry, I have obnoxious dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I was th I was thinking this could be something along the Fey track rather than we just because of the wings, um, and we can't see the ears, so we don't know like whether they're pointy or not. But all of the Fey were always depicted with the wings, mm -hmm. and here we have something that's with the wings, so it could be something Fey related, and, and not mean, necessarily directly we just at all. I mean, if we don't it's find something I have wings. That, I mean, that's of course that we also don't find something else fae related amongst this rubble. Mm. Yeah, I mean, well, Mordecai's searching the rubble, so we'll see what comes out of that. As well as out of my detect magic. Yep, uh, we will find out what happens. Uh, though, we're going to go over to... Uh, we're going to go to uh, Mordecai here, real quick, as I'll cycle back to you as you're, uh, as you're finishing up your ritual bright. Mordecai, Queen of Hearts. I think you got that last... Did I shuffle these? Uh, Alright, story beat time. Um, Riley, come on. You Oops, are... Uh, it's fine. Uh, you are finding... Uh, you're also finding scorch marks. And, and this isn't like uh, indiscriminate burning. In fact, none of you smell any sort of uh, accelerants like lamp oil or anything along those lines. In fact, there's not even really a smoke smell. It's just as if points of fire had burst across the stone. Uh, greetings, Valandar, and also Quingar to you. Uh, as you are looking uh, through the statues, uh, you are finding that these are uh, that these are smaller, in your opinion, than the main one at the end of the hall, and they show signs of also having wings. Although in whatever battle occurred. Uh, parts of them, like you'd find a wing in one corner and elsewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, but these were also winged statues. Uh, and you do find features of men and women. And I'm not saying like, oh, there's a hundred of these statues in here. There's not. There's maybe maybe six. Depending on how you apportion things. Mm. Um, but yes, there are men and women statues. Um, Hooded? Yes. Interesting. But they're smaller in scale compared to the one at the, at the end. Yes, they, they are... Uh, 
I, I'm adding a detail here. Uh, I, I don't know if I brought that up or not, but from her pose, because it's also dark, just so you all see, uh, she is kneeling. Um, yeah, so they're, I mean, they're still great statues. They're, they're larger than, you know, than any of you standing here, <laughs> but they're not massive like the statue at the end of this, uh, I guess, worship hall is. Uh, and in addition, you do see uh, signs that uh, some of the rubble as well uh, would be uh, pews. So this was some place of assembly as well. So this is a temple. Dragons and giants out front. Yeah. This winged figure in the middle inside untouched but these are these down here are destroyed are the pews like human sized or are they also really big they they are big but they're not scaled to giants or dragons okay so you would all right, well, I'm talking to Bright. You'd feel small sitting in them, but I mean, that's a normal chair. Would. But uh, for medium-sized creatures as well, they would they would feel small sitting here. But they're not exactly made for giant or dragon butts. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was getting at. Uh, in fact, that goes into the whole architecture here as well. You are meant to feel small. This is a very tall, cavernous area. Um, everything just towers over uh, any of you here. And even even the very large statue at the end, there's still a lot more roof up top to go. So, in the main hall, a giant or a dragon could fit easily and be comfortable, but the accoutrements uh, don't seem to be made for people of that size. Not without them... Like, sure, even they like kind of, uh, yeah, like, <laughs> even they would feel kind of small in this space. Yes, yeah, yeah. This place is massive. Um. All right, bright as your uh, as your ritual is going off. Um, you will need to be defended. Uh, I, I actually, I'll I'll give you the. Uh, uh, I'll give you the description here, and then uh, we will actually have a fight. Um, not a not. A, I'm gonna get up, bring the grid up. It's it'll, be, it'll still be a distribution. Um, so your hey, did I did I draw a combat card or or, or yeah, it, it was a nine of clubs. Okay. Unless you want to okay. divert it. Yeah, I would like to divert that. Oh, um, I I can't reach my I because I do have one more portent, and I don't want to fight right now. Okay. Um, I can't reach my mouse because of dogs. Okay, gotcha. Uh, then, uh, while while your ritual is going off, you saw a flash of some sort of some, something's going to happen. Uh, but instead of something happening, uh, well, it's a trap, or at least a, a trap-like thing. It could be an environmental hazard, but it's not as severe. There's a six of spades instead of a nine yeah, of clubs. That's definitely better. Um, Much better. And let me take a look real quick to see if I can blend this into what you are. Let's see. Six of... Six of spades? Ooh, yeah. Although you're probably going to pass this because the six of spades is an intelligence save. Uh, so, yeah. Go ahead and uh, hopefully pass bright? What's that? Can I guide it bright? It's a 15. Um, it, it wouldn't be necessary here. Uh mm -hmm. So, uh, as you are detecting magic, um, you are getting a, uh, you are getting a very strong, uh, you're getting strong auras of divination and necromancy here. Hmm. Coming from anything in particular or just like suffusing the, the water? Uh, divination is coming from the statue. Uh, necromancy seems to uh, uh, seems to be just pervasive. 
Um, it is it is everywhere here. Okay. Well, I will definitely tell everyone about the the magics. Uh, and you see, but so there don't seem to be any like particular like magic items hidden in the rubble or anything. Uh, even the gem that they found, that Celine found at yeah, the base the, of the thing. The the gem, the gem is not magical, uh, but to future proof any treasure cards you find, uh, they could just be buried under rubble and aren't detectable because it's under too much stone or something. I I, I won't ding you if there's something obvious. In, in other words, what I'm trying to tell you here. Okay. Okay. Um, now you did use a portent and you also passed an int save, uh, which there, uh, admittedly there is only a like couple int saves I think I had in the whole deck. Uh, yeah, it's not uh, a so save. so the fact that you got this and a portent and you're detecting magic, uh, you have a vision of combat. Fortunately, it didn't manifest here to you all. Um. But you get glimpses of, uh, there's no detail, but you're definitely, like, these statues are fighting. And they're fighting, uh, they're fighting two people? Uh, go ahead and make a perception at disadvantage. Eight. Eight. Uh, medium-sized humanoids? And uh, they are cloaked. Uh, however, you think one of them had a tail. Okay. Uh, but there were two humanoids in here fighting against the uh, fighting against the statues. And uh, the the blast you you distinctly remember almost like fireworks shooting off in your vision. Maybe that's what had you uh, look away for a second and not get a clear look. Uh, but fire was streaking throughout this place. Did they seem to be fighting the, like, the main statue up front, or, like, the statues that have been turned to rubble? The, uh, rubble statues. The main one, the main one in your, uh, brief vision didn't seem to be moving. Okay. Oh. Oh, no. I'm glad oh, it makes sense to you. What, what happened? I know exactly who that is. Um. Would you like to I... tell us? If I were if I, if I was a betting guy, and I can tend to be from time to time, what's the bet that's Grimhilda and Loki? Where's L and Loki and Grimhilda? Uh, how is Loki involved in this? I'm thinking that I'm thinking that when everything dropped, they came. They they've come through here because that would explain all the fire. Being oh. being patron. Yeah, but or at least Grimhilda. Well, yeah, could could be Grimhilda, but maybe not Loki, because he's probably dead. Sorry, Norlai. Um. <laughs> I doubt. I, I doubt. Boo hoo! That boo -hoo. Why do you suspect that he's dead? Because I saw him die. <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty that's a pretty convincing <laughs> argument as to why someone might be dead. <laughs> I mean, to be quite honest with you, silly or bright, so I have mean, several I, of us. I know. I mean, that's that's why it's not. I'm not sure. <laughs> I just think he's probably dead on account of how he died. That's and that how was that exactly? Well, it was when you guys were off in the in the desert, and I, oh. Norlai and I were were going, and we went and found her brother. And then he got kerploded. And he flew across the street and like hit a building and fall down on the ground and and then he disappeared, so I don't know for sure, but it seemed like the sort of thing that probably would have killed most people. Although you never can be sure. Anyway, Norlay didn't want to go after him, so he's he a shunner he didn't follow follower. Down. I know, I know, I know. And if Shunneruth had anything to say about it, it would probably wouldn't have let him just die. Well, it would probably still pop it in there. Anyway, there were other people in that group, right? They had a, they had some other people with them. There was uh, the dwarf guy, and um, didn't they have a paladin too? I don't. It was a long time ago. It was, it like, was a long time ago. It was like twenty thousand years ago. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it was. 
Two, two and a bit years ago. Yeah, two and a bit. Or one and a bit? I don't even... A couple of months, from my perspective? Bit. Time means Something nothing like here. Two and a nothing. bit, I was still alive. But yeah, if... And if he's a strong enough adventurer, like the rest of us, then that probably wouldn't outright kill him. Not if yeah. his party members had anything to say about it. Yeah, it's possible. Um, I mean, it could be it could be them. Um, Grimhilder seems more likely. Um, she didn't have a tail. Did only one of the people in the dream have a tail? Yes. Yeah, well, it could be them. So it was nice of them to clear out the uh, the rubble for us. Let's look on the bright side. Yeah. They could be nearby, also. I don't want to run right. into them while, with us not having most of our spells. That'd be a bummer. I haven't really... I haven't really spent everything. Oh yeah, I've only spent about half and none of my really big ones. But even so... I've spent all of my pickets. <laughs> well. Let's see if we can fix that with... <laughs> uh, Celine. As you continue to uh, look about and piece things together, uh, you oh you find another uh, bauble of sorts, uh, four Yay, of little diamonds. Bobble. Little bauble. You bobble. find. Boop, doop, 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 roll a percentile. <laughs> yeah, I'll roll a percentile. Uh, Forty-seven. Okay. That is going to be... Uh, roll 46, please. 46. I can do... <laughs> 16. Uh, okay. Uh, you find... Uh, scattered around... Uh, scattered around the statue... Uh, maybe it was all located in one place and was disrupted in the fight that happened here. Uh, but you find 16 old silver pieces. Here, I'll grab those. Why not? Okay. Uh, you take the old silver pieces. Um, those... Uh, Uh, those uh, so those coins uh, do bear those coins do bear skulls uh, that would look similar to the fundamentalist skulls of Weejas. Um Not not exactly the same, but just uh, it's a skull depiction. Uh, and possibly related to burial rites. I mean, you all put some of your own silver on a body before. All uh, right, Mordecai, bloop. Uh, uh oh, something's gonna happen. Uh, you're gonna get a little bonk here as a four of spades is drawn, and that is going to end up being. Uh, okay, I need you to roll a d4, please. One or two, it's a poison, and we're not gonna worry about that. All right. Uh, so yeah, as you are, um, as you are uh, searching about. Uh, there is uh, some kind of uh, some kind of a liquid uh, that is in the rubble, uh, whether it's like, almost like a blood for these constructs or just an old something or I don't know maybe the weird a weird sea cucumber crawled in here and got squished. Uh, but there's like a very noxious like as you're digging through your fingers get into it and oh smells horrible it tingles a bit but uh, it does not affect you. Uh, Gross. Because you are you're a hero. I am a hero. <laughs> uh, Bright, however, draws a card and finds. Oh, you also find some treasure. There you go, Bright. Like treasure. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. We are moving into. I need a percentile from you as well, but you're not finding coins. Can someone else roll the percentile for me? I have a dog. Oh, all right. All right we'll do it. Yep. Thirty-nine. Okay, that is going to be. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, gemstones are not percentile. I need a D12. Sorry about that. Wait. 12. 
12. A one. A Ooh. One. All right. Uh, so, Bright, you find, uh, you find, maybe as a part of one of these statues' ruins, a bloodstone. Oh. It's opaque dark gray with red flecks. Oh. Would you like to take the gemstone? Yeah, I think so. Okay, it's uh, it's loose enough. You can you can wiggle it out. All right, you, you have a bloodstone. Congratulations, Celine has. Uh, Would you oh, want me to keep note of that? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, all right. So, Celine, as you are going through here, uh, your story beat uh, will go on to end up confirming much of what you thought, or at least is providing strong evidence. Because not only uh, were there signs of fire uh, that was directed in a combat, you are finding uh, you're finding fresh pits blasted out of the stone, um, which would indicate either someone was wielding a hammer or uh, magical force has been used in here. Oh, no. Uh, however, you're finding widespread force damage now that you can see it. Uh, it, it. Again, it could be hammer, but it's probably magical force. If so one of them was actively trying to... to... <laughs> Someone was one of them, most likely Loki. was vaporizing everything in here. Yeah. <laughs> Fluffy's getting attacked by doggos. <laughs> can you hear yeah. can you hear doggo slurps? Yeah. Doggo thumps? <laughs> okay. <Yep>. Yes. <laughs> and pants. Yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have dogs. Good. <laughs> uh no, our... just one nerves. Uh, so, having gone through here, you've uh, you've found some things, and uh, we can move into the next section, unless there's any more discussion you all wish to take. Uh, though I will want to get up and take a break before we like move on into the next yeah. part. I would like to, if there's if there's time, uh -huh. I'd like to identify the statue, see if I can figure out more about the divination that it's associated with. Uh, sure. Um. I, I can give that one to you. This is acting like a uh, uh, it's acting like a uh, word of recall destination. Oh oh oh, that's interesting. That's divination. I thought that was conjuration. Oh, is it? I thought it was divination because uh, it's uh, uh, which spell? You you locate a place to go. Uh, word of recall is. Conjuration, I believe. Is it con okay, I'm sorry. It, it, no. Then then to retcon, I'm, I, I'm sorry then. That was my fault. I thought it was because you could divine a location and, and go to it. Okay. Uh, it, it, it would um, be conjuration will... then. Okay. Give me, just a, give me just a second and I will confirm. I already yeah. put the text. Yeah, yeah it's, yep, it's got there. The text, it's conjuration. Yeah, yeah okay. Conjuration. All right. That is no problem. I just now that I know what that is, that's good. Uh, so, Celine, how do, what do you suppose we dispel their word of recall? I think that's a perfect idea. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and dispel their word of recall. Okay. <laughs> uh, maybe, sure. Uh, maybe that'll get them into some trouble. This is, this is what we call to keep it uh, to keep it PG-13. I get effed moment. <laughs> I'm going to try it at level 3, and if it doesn't work, then I'll try it again at level 6. Okay. Uh... And I have to make a DC-16 16. intelligence check, right? Okay. 20. Okay. Uh, as you begin casting your spell, uh, you know, you've attuned yourself to the magic that's here. You know, you're, you're definitely on to uh, onto them. And uh, the, the magic fades from the statue. Awesome. Uh, it no longer carries any sort of a, a blessing. Awesome. Okay. That's good news. That'll, um... Well, it won't do him any good. Okay. Do we want to take a break now? We can. Do we want to? Mm -hmm. 
It's up to you. I have to clean my glasses. They're covered in puppy snorkels. Okay. Yep, so everyone out there, uh, mm -hmm. we will... Uh, we will take a 10-15 minute break, uh, get up, you know, use the restroom, snack or drink, or uh, unbury yourself from puppies as necessary. And when we come back, we are going to continue exploring the uh, the temple here. So, refresh yourselves, and uh, if any of you have extra bits, or if you have a sub to re-up or whatever, uh, give it a try, and uh, watch what happens to Bright's Muffin uh, as that happens. Uh, so we'll see you back here in a little bit, everyone. <laughs> 